The character Zoe was tasked with doing something that scares her. What would that be for you two? Personally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so many things scare me. <laughs> I love it. I enjoy it. I you mean, enjoy being scared? I do. I think that might be something you have in common with Jason, actually. Yeah. Because he's a little bit of a thrill, yeah. adrenaline. Like I ride, I ride a motorcycle. I've skydived. Yeah. Yeah. I've mm. scubaed. I've, I'm learning to fly a plane. Yeah. Like I, I actually really enjoy like thrills. Yeah, I mean, I'm a, I'm a roller coaster person, so okay. I enjoy that kind of thrill. What what actually deep down scares me is is social people. <laughs> Human beings are really scary. Um, so yeah, so facing my fear is like right now. So there we go. God. Jay, if you could bring anyone from the cast of Insecure with you to survive an escape room, who would it be and why? Issa Rae. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hands down. And why? Not even a question. Because she's literally one of the smartest people. I don't even know how she knows as much stuff as she knows. I don't even know her, and I would bring her. <laughs> like, she just knows so much stuff. Yeah. And also, like, there's just always levity with her. Like, she's yeah. always, like, fun and, like, cracking okay. jokes. And, and you don't get to that point in your career where, like, you're creating this yeah. thing and you're a piece of every part of it yeah. without being an extraordinary human being. Yeah. There's, yeah. yeah. And Deborah, I know yeah. that you're a huge fan of the game Dungeons & Dragons. Yes. Which is all about groups. I love that you know that. Thank you. <laughs> Solving problems. It's yeah. kind of like an escape room. Absolutely. So you probably already know. What do you think your role would be in an escape room, a real escape room type situation? <gasps> well, I mean, I'm a puzzler. I'm very good at puzzles. Um, so yeah, that, that's probably what I would gravitate to. More of the Zoe. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little quieter, a little more. I can, I can kind of figure something out. And then I would need others to kind of help in and give me the courage to speak up. But uh, yeah, that would be my role. So the movie is premiering in the new year. Yeah. So guys, if there's one thing you want to leave in 2018, what would it be? And what would you want to bring to 2019? Oh. Or start Ooh. in 2019? Leave in 2018. I mean, I don't know if this is super cheesy, but my, my whole feeling for 2019 is this idea of like, coming alive. So rather than like being successful or ambitious or pushing that, like what actually like makes me feel alive That's and cool. joyful and, and leaning into that and, and allowing that to be my definition of success. That's super cool. Um, I love that. Thanks. That's really cool. I've been thinking a lot about it. Um, I feel like mine would be celebration. Huh. Like just to celebrate a little bit more. Like I feel like sometimes we just get so tunnel yeah, vision yeah. and just get buried with like the day to day and you know, one foot in front of the other and just kind of forget moments to like, <sighs> Yeah, this is like, amazing. You know what I mean? You have a movie coming out in January. Yeah. Like, like a, we're going to yeah. be in a theater. And we should celebrate. <laughs> we should celebrate We should actually that. celebrate that. Deal. Yeah.